start again. Okay, so um, welcome to our floral session and today we are going to paint something beautiful. I'm going to share with you how to paint a beautiful delphinium flower in a very nice vintage shade of purple. So for the materials, I hope you guys were able to prepare um, your watercolor paper, two brushes, one round brush in size 6 or 8, and one detail brush in maybe size 2, 1, 0, or double zero or triple zero. And I hope you guys were able to secure your water, water in a cup, and your tissue. So um, we'll just wait for the others to arrive. So we are now currently 46. That's, that's why I'm a bit surprised earlier why we only have two, around two or um, eight viewers. So, but thank you guys for waiting. Thank you so much. And okay, just to give you a little bit of preview, last um, live session that we had, I had a demo with you and I just um, took a video of the things that I'm doing. And I felt that um, some of you weren't able to catch up because um, I can't talk while painting. So what I did right now is I pre-recorded the workshop that you guys can watch. And we, um, we are going to discuss everything that we need in order to paint a frame-worthy delphinium flower. So I am going to share with you the basic brush, brush strokes the colors, the materials that I use, as well as how to um, create a composition that you guys can surely um, frame and maybe you can gift it to someone also. Okay, so if you are ready, please comment, um, I'm ready. <laughs> and we are going to start in a bit, okay? Also guys, if you're not able to follow everything that I'm gonna show later on, you can re-watch this video so this will be available for replay after this class. Alright, so to give you a flow of the everything that we're gonna do, um, so I'm gonna discuss the basic strokes, everything that you need for the workshop and then we'll have a little bit of a commercial break and then after that commercial break, we will be um, doing the final project which is a uh, delphinium composition. And then after that, I'm gonna give a little bit of announcement, short announcement, and then we're done. So, okay. And of course, after we paint, we're gonna have a short Q&A. All right, so let us now start painting a delphinium flower. All right, so let's start with the materials that we will be using for this class. And for the first part, I am going to discuss the papers. So for the papers, I am using the Baohong Academy, which is 100% cotton paper. The size is 10 by 7 and it's called Press Medium Green. So if you don't have this one, I also recommend for you guys to use Arches Watercolor Paper. So Arches has, has rough um texture and it's also 100% cotton and it's called press now you can use any watercolor paper which is 100% cotton any brand will do as long as it's also called press now if you don't have budget for 100% cotton yet i also recommend for you guys to use the fabriano 25% cotton this is also a good paper or the Canson Montval. This is also nice and uh, got high quality. You can also use the Campap watercolor paper. This is These are the papers that I usually use. Now, do not use these two papers. They may be cheap, but their quality will affect your painting. So especially in creating your final project, please do not use this paper. These are meant for kids and for drills but not for final project paintings now let's go to brushes for the brushes these are the two 
kinds of brushes that I always use for my painting. But for this class, I particularly use the number 6 and number 2 of Silver Black Velvet. But if you're wondering what are the usual brush that I use for my other paintings, these two, the Black Velvet and the Golden Natural Ultra Round, both from Silver Brush Limited. So for the other materials, I would um, require you to have one cup of water, but if you have two, that would be good. One for cleaning and one for dipping your brush or wetting your brush. I also would require you to have some tissues, so this will be used to clean our brush and remove excess water from it. And we also need a palette, but this one is optional. You can use the back of your watercolor case if you have one. And... If you have a plastic palette, that would be okay also. But I will particularly use a ceramic watercolor palette. So for the colors that I'm going to use, what I will be using is the Mijello Shadow Violet mainly for this class. And then on some parts, I will be mixing it with Van Dyke Brown. So if you don't have Mijello Shadow Violet, you can mix... Um, red and blue so what I use the red color that I use on the top part of this um, swatch is the Perlin red from Daniel Smith and the blue is the French ultramarine from Daniel Smith so if you mix a little bit more red this is um, what it will look like the first uh, mixture but if you add a little bit more blue compared to red the second mixture which is in the middle part of our left swatch is what you will arrive with now if you mix the red with more blue plus a little bit more van dyke brown the third mixture will arrive now i am gonna give you a little bit of seconds <laughs> to mix the colors that you will be using for our class so i want you guys to experiment with the colors it doesn't have to be the same as what i'm using so whatever you have there i want you guys to play with it mix a little bit of brown you can even mix a little bit of sepia or gray if you have so these are the usual um colors the gray sepia and van dyke brown are the usual colors that i use to mix some vintage tones so i want you guys to mix a little bit of those right now and then later i'll get back to you Alright, so now that we're done with a little bit of the color mixing and all the materials that we need to create to produce for our class, now I'm going to show you what a adelpinium looks like. So this is the flower that we're going to paint today. And here's what a delphinium looks like in real life. So as you can see, delphinium has a lot of petals. And what I love about this flower is that it it looks happy so its petals look as if they're dancing and i love how the shade of blue looks very lively and i love that this flower has a lot of um, variation when it comes to colors so delphinium comes in pink in purple and of course the common which is blue so i'm gonna show you right now what uh, the a delphinium shape looks like when we draw it so this is what it looks like generally the shape of a delphinium looks like a corn so it's like this and then we'll put a stem and then a bit of leaves around it now since we are painting loose we don't really have to paint 
everything that we see in a photo. So for the delphinium, this is the strokes that we need to familiarize ourselves with when painting the delphinium petals. So I'm going to use a shade of purple. So you can use any color for this um, brush strokes and just do something like this. So it's very easy as you can see. And I want you guys to practice the strokes using different water and color ratios. So I want you guys to create different shades of the color that you're using by adding water on your color. Now let's try painting a delphinium. So using the strokes that we have studied earlier, we're going to do it on the shape that we have created. So again, add a little bit of water and then... On some areas, make it concentrated. So there would be variation when it comes to the um, shade of color that you're using. Also, on the top part of our del delphinium, it would be um, the strokes will be smaller compared to the bottom part. So when it comes to the bottom part, we would like to create bigger strokes. So you have to press your brush a little bit harder so you can create bigger strokes. We are slowly seeing the shape of our delphinium and we just have to make it full. Now after doing the base shape of your delphinium, I want you guys to create a mixture of green. And then using your smaller brush, um, we will connect our delphinium, delphinium petals. So we will create thin line like this. It would be better if your petals are still a little bit wet so the color green will bleed to our petals and it will create a very very nice effect. Also at the end of your um, stem, I want you guys to add a little bit of small leaves like this. Now that's it and it's time to add the leaves. So in creating leaves, all you have to do is create strokes like this. As you can see, it's very easy. All you have to do is create thick and then lift your brush and then give it a partner. Now the secret in creating a beautiful leaf is to do it slowly. You don't have to hurry. You have to do it slowly so you can be mindful of the strokes that you're creating. I hope you guys don't find me too fast and I hope you guys are following the, over there. So let's try to do another leaf. So thick, slowly release it and then lift. And then give your first stroke a partner. Thick and then lift. So that's very easy. I know you guys can do it. It can be a little bit challenging in the beginning. But if you do it all the time, you will get it, I'm sure. Now that is it for our leaves, brush strokes, and how to paint a delphinium. Now let's proceed with painting our beautiful delphinium composition that is very frame-worthy. And I'm sure you guys will love it. But, but before that, I want to introduce to you guys my upcoming Skillshare class which is entitled Pastel Flowers Workshop and on this workshop we are going to mix a lot of pastel colors in vintage tones of course which is my favorite and we will paint a beautiful um, version of roses so there will be three different versions of roses on this class one for beginners one for um, average and one which is a little bit hard but very unique type of rose and on this class we will also paint dog roses and of course we will paint a lot of fillers a lot of different leaves plus we are gonna create three beautiful frame-worthy composition that I'm sure you guys would love. So if you're not yet on Skillshare, um, I encourage you guys to 
register on Skillshare and this is how you're going to do it. All you have to do is click this link. This is um this link is on the description of this um YouTube live also. So when you click this link, you will be introduced to this site. And then all you have to do is click this part. And after clicking this button, you will be introduced to this area. And all you have to do is register, fill out the form, and then follow the instructions. So you will be asked to input your PayPal account or your card details. But don't worry, you will not be charged. So you will never be charged because you are on free trial. So the free trial is free for 30 days. Absolutely free. I, I guarantee you that you will never be charged and if you want to continue your subscription, you can do so. You don't have to do anything. But if you don't want to, um, all you have to do is cancel your subscription so that you won't be charged after the end of 30 days. So here are the workshops that I offer on Skillshare. And all of these workshops will be available for you once you are on your free trial. So... I hope you guys can register, can watch the class, can attend the class, can um, spread the word, and that's it. Now, that's our commercial, and let's go to our um, final project for this watercolor session, which is painting this beautiful framed delphinium. So, okay, for our delphinium, what we're going to do first is get our colors so what i'm gonna use right now is the shadow violet from Magello. but later on i'm gonna create another mix which is same color shadow violet but i'm gonna mix it with van dyke brown now for the first stroke i'm gonna use um, a very light version of the color so he, this is what my stroke looks like now I'm going to add smaller stroke but in different mixture, more pigmented mixture. So here and then again what, what we're going to do is we'll just continue until we achieve the shape of other delphinium. So if you're not yet familiar with the shape, you can create a guide by creating a pencil mark and then erasing it a little bit so it would be a little bit light. Okay, so again, we have to mix different water and color ratio. Some of our petals will be dark, some will be light. This will create a, an illusion that there are petals in front and that there are petals at the back part of our painting. Remember that petals at the bottom part of our painting should be a little bit bigger compared to the ones at the top part. Now that we're done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my undersea green with Van Dyke Brown to create a very beautiful shade of um, muted green. So this is what I will be using for the stem part of my delphinium. I am using size 2 of my silver black velvet voyage. This is a round brush. And then I'm creating the stems connecting the petals with my undersea green mix with Van Dyke Brown. So as I've mentioned earlier, it would be better if your petals is still wet so the color green will bleed. And again, we will better if your petals is still wet so the color green will bleed and again we will we will add a little bit of small leaves on the outer part of our painting now for the next part of our delphinium we're going to paint it on this side so it's going to this direction it's a little bit curved 
and our delphinium will not be as full as our first delphinium and for this one i am going to mix a little bit of van dyke brown on my shadow violet by the way guys you are not required to use purple for your delphinium you can use any color that you want so okay let's create our first strokes for our second delphinium i'm gonna use um size 6 round brush for this one and again we will just keep on creating our petals like this so don't forget to add different water and color ratio for your petals some would be a little bit pigmented some would be a little bit more watery okay now as you can see we were not able to finish our delphinium on this part and that's okay now we will just add some stems okay so greens beautiful shade of green this is my favorite shade of green some of you know this already because if you were able to attend my free views q and a i always share there that my favorite shade of green is under sea green by daniel smith all right, now we're going to add the third delphinium, which is on this part of our painting. I'm going to use the same color as my second delphinium and just keep on creating the same strokes. Now we are going to add the stem. All right, so we are done with our main elements, but our painting won't stop here. So we will be adding more leaves at the bottom part of our composition and these leaves will give full effect on our composition so it would be better if you will use different shades of green so you can mix some browns some yellows on your greens plus it would be better if you will use different water and color ratio some would be lighter some would be darker because this will create an illusion that there are leaves at the back part and there are leaves in front also you can add random lines like what i always do on my paintings some like this some thin lines some random thin strokes like that because those lines are actually nice and it look it makes our um, painting look more full Add leaves on the empty space of your composition to make it look more full and so that there would be a little bit less dead space on your painting. Now for some details, I will be adding some small dots of purple like this. So this will give an illusion that there are falling leaves I mean fall, falling petals on our painting. And then for the final detail, I want you guys to load your brush with the color that you were using and then do something like this. So you will snap a little bit of the color around your painting. 
just do it lightly so the splatter won't be very obvious and won't ruin your painting. Okay, so this is just an optional detail to your painting. If you don't want to do this, that's also okay. And that is it for our delphinium composition. I hope you guys were able to create something like this. And if you weren't able to follow, that's okay because a recording of this video will be available for you guys to watch after. So let's now open our discussion for your questions. So if you have any questions, you can type it on the comment section so I can answer it. So I will be picking maybe five to seven questions to answer. All right. So, so okay guys, we are done with our main workshop. Now I will be answering all your questions which you were able to type on the comment section. But first, thank you so much for waiting when our video got a little bit glitched. So, all right. So, I'm going to answer your questions. So, from... There's a question here. Is, this a, is that a size 6 brush? Yes, it's a size 6 round brush from Silver Black Velvet. This is the brush that I always use. But aside from Silver Black Velvet, what I also use is the Golden Naturals Ultra Round Brush from Silver Brush Limited as well. So... Um, Silver Brush Limited is the brand that I always use and I'm actually one of their educators. But even so, even if I'm not their ambassador or educator, I really love their brush. And yeah, I, I highly recommend the Black Velvet. Next is, what is the size of the brush? Again, size 6 and size 2. And colors for the leaves. So for the leaves, what I use is the Undersea Green. So this is the Undersea Green by um, Daniel Smith. And I mixed it with Van Dyke Brown. So I mixed it with Van Dyke Brown from Mijello. This is the two combination that I always use for my leaves. And then for the purple, I use the Shadow Violet from um, Mijello. Okay, so these are the colors that, so this is the Shadow Violet from Mijello. Okay, <laughs> it's on the other side. All right, so I hope you guys were able to capture those colors. So these are the colors that I always use for, uh, these are the colors that I use for the painting. Another color, uh, another question, I mean. <laughs> Um, so some of you typed here that you guys are using Winsor & Newton. So I also use Winsor & Newton. I love um, some colors, especially the green ones from Winsor & Newton. Daniel Smith. I always use Daniel Smith. And I haven't tried the Kuretake Gansai, but I think it's also good. Holbein. I also use Holbein. And I usually use Holbein for gouache. I love Holbein gouache. So, some questions here from Raquel. She asked, what watercolor can you recommend for beginners? So, what watercolor brand can I recommend for beginners? White Knights is a good um, entry-level watercolor. Shinhan is also good. And Mijello. They're on the cheaper side compared to Daniel Smith and Windsor and Newton. They are more cheap. And but still, they have good quality. So I would recommend White Knights from Nem Sky Palitra, Holbein, Shinhan, and Mijello. They are all professional watercolor brands. Okay, to show your final output, shall I tag you when we post on Instagram? Please, I would love to see your artwork, and maybe I could give a little bit of comment if you want to. And yeah, you can tag me on Instagram at Jenny Flores Art. Um, I will also love to reshare your stories on Instagram. So if you're watching and taking some videos, you can always tag me. All right. Which is good paper for watercolor? So I recommend Bao Hong if you're looking for a 100% cotton watercolor paper because Bao Hong is on the cheaper side compared to Arches or Fabriano 100% cotton 
Baohong is really cheap, especially here in Asia. But if you're um, looking for a watercolor per practice only, um, you may use Kampap. I think it's also available in Malaysia. But Kampap is available here in the Philippines on Shopee. And also Fabriano 25% cotton. Um, you can also use the Canson Montval and Canson XL. They are both, uh, they are all good and they're good for practice. But if you're looking for a watercolor paper to use for projects that you will be selling, it would be better if you will use 100% cotton. Um, okay, from Lara, she commented, I'm using Schmincke and Daniel Smith. I love Schmincke also, especially their neutral, um, neutral tint. I think it's the shade. It's a muted purple shade, which is also good. <clears throat> No, V ask, may you share your vintage pastel color for roses and vintage color for leaves? So for vintage pastel color of roses and for the leaves, I use undersea green mixed with um, Van Dyke Brown. So I also use a lot of colors for vintage um, leaves, but you can check the exact recipe, all the list of recipes on my Skillshare class, I shared it in there. Um, for the vintage pastel, the recipe, I think, is around 15. And I shared it on that workshop also. And on all my Skillshare workshop, I share a lot of vintage um, recipes. So you guys will surely enjoy all my Skillshare workshop because it, um, it covers a lot of mixing and recipes. But again, for today's workshop, I shared with you the vintage um, purple, which is a mixture of shallow violet and Van Dyke Brown. All right. So, some more questions. I think there are questions on the top part. Mm -hmm. All right. If you have more questions, you can type it right now. But again, while waiting for your questions, I would like to um, rem um, share with you again that I have a new class on Skillshare which will be uploaded tonight and it's about vintage pastel flowers. So there are um, different fillers, leaves, and fl flowers that will be shared on that class. And what's amazing is that th we have a giveaway upcoming on that workshop so if you attend that workshop and you upload your final project you will be included on the giveaway so the price would be a vintage pastel set from art philosophy and i know you guys would love that so the class would be available and if you want to attend that class for free i have a link on the description of this um, live video so you just have to click that link and follow the instructions. So you will be asked to enter your PayPal or credit card details, but don't worry, you will not be charged um, if you, um, you will not be charged for 30 days. And if you don't want to continue after 30 days, you can cancel it. So you will not be charged. But if you want to continue, you don't have to do anything else. Okay, so if you are from the Philippines, the um, price of Skillshare, if you want to continue, is 1200 per year. So that's around 4 pesos per day only. So that's very cheap and I guarantee you that all the workshops in there, 39,000 workshops, are so worth it. I release class every month, at least once a month. So sometimes I release two workshops. So I hope you guys um, can watch those um, Skillshare classes that I have. And announcement and slash slash question. For our next free class, what do you want for me to um, share with you? Calligraphy or holiday, um, holiday watercolor? Can you comment so I can decide which um, workshop will I pre prepare for you guys? Is it calligraphy or holiday workshop? So please let me know. And um, again, um, thank you so much. So no more questions. If you have questions, you can um, uh, message me on Instagram, okay? 
Thank you so much for watching this live and I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Don't forget to tag me with your um, final projects. Tag me on Instagram at Jenny Flores Art. And I will see you guys on our next live class, which may be on December. Bye!